Fables. The Ant and the Grasshopper. It was summer, hot and sunny, and, instead of working and preparing for winter, a grasshopper preferred to dance, sing and play his violin at his leisure. Not minding that these wonderful days will soon be over, that cold and rainy days will soon be near. On seeing a hard-working ant passing by him, preparing for the hard winter that was to come one day, he invited him to join him and share his fun. Unfortunately, I don't have time for this, the ant answered, I must work hard, so that winter won't find me without shelter and food. Stop worrying so much, there is still plenty of time to prepare for winter. Let's sing and dance together, let's laugh and enjoy life. But Ant was very wise and wouldn't pay attention to the grasshopper's words and continued to work hard and starve food for the long winter that was to come. The winter came sooner than expected, and the grasshopper found himself without home and without food. He went to the ant's house and begged him for food and shelter. I'm sorry, but I can't help you, the ant said. I only have room and food for me and my family, so go find help somewhere else. I should have followed Ant's example in the summer, the grasshopper thought sadly. I would have been so happy now. Moral of the story. Prepare for the hard days to come. The Ass in the Lion's Skin On his walk through the forest, an ass found a lion's skin and instantly, a wonderful idea crossed his mind that was going to help him be respected and feared by all the other animals. He was going to pretend to be a lion. So, he put the skin on and wandered through the forest, scaring all the small animals around. He felt so strong, he was the king of the forest. What a great feeling! For a moment, he forgot he was not supposed to open his mouth to give himself away and brayed triumphantly. Right then, a fox that was just on the point to run away scared thinking it was a real lion, stopped suddenly and began to mock at him. An ass! You are just an ass pretending to be a lion. You gave yourself away with your voice. Had you kept your mouth shut, I would have been fooled myself, too. Moral of the story, the real fakers will finally give themselves away. The Fox and the Crow One day, the crow found a piece of meat, took it in her beak and flew away with it in a tree. Right that moment, a fox passing by saw the crow with the meat and since he was very hungry, thought of a plan meant to help him steal the meat. So, he sat in front of the crow and began to exclaim, Oh, crow, you are the most gracious and beautiful bird I have ever seen. Let me admire you, and let me hear your voice, too. It must be equally beautiful as your appearance, you queen of birds. The crow was truly delighted by all these compliments, and she was even convinced she had a beautiful voice, so, she opened her mouth to sing. That moment, she dropped the meat, and the fox grabbed it right away. Look, crow, the fox said, your voice is okay, but, unfortunately, you have no wits. Moral of the story, the flatterers are not trustworthy. The Stag at the River one hot day a stag came to a river to quench his thirst, and seeing his reflection in the water, found his horns truly amazing. They are magnificent, exquisite, I am so proud of them, he exclaimed. Then, looking at his legs, he became very sad. My legs are too short, too thin, if they could be as amazing as my horns. I would be so happy. But while pondering on all these things, a lion showed up, and the stag ran away, but soon stuck his horns into the branches of the trees. It was very easy for the lion to capture him this way. I can't believe that my very horns which were my pride brought my misfortune, while my legs which I was so ashamed of would have served me so well. Things are not what they seem to be. Moral of the story. Most often, we despise the most precious things and appreciate the wrong ones. The lion, the bear, and the fox. A poor unfortunate kid got captured by both a lion and a bear and each one wanted it for himself, not willing to give up on it in favor of the other one and not even to share it. Because of this, they started to fight. After they fighted for a long time, they fell down very tired. A cunning fox who noticed all this from the very beginning took advantage of this moment, 
came quickly, grabbed the kid and ran away, very happy with his prey. The lion and the bear couldn't believe they had been so unwise and lost the kid because of their greed. Next time we capture a prey, I promise I'll share it with you, said the lion after he learned his lesson. Moral of the story, you may work hard and still not get the benefit if you're not wise enough. The Hare and the Tortoise A hare and a tortoise decided one day to compete with each other in a race. That was because the hare dared to laugh at the tortoise for being so slow and heavy and he just couldn't stand this painful offense. So the tortoise suggested the race and the hare agreed, very confident in himself. The poor tortoise will make a fool of himself, he thought very amused. So, when the big day arrived, they started together. A long road was to be run, so, after a while, the hare stopped, being so advanced in comparison with the slow tortoise and thought it was a good idea to take a nap for a few minutes. He did so, but when he finally woke up, he was horrified to notice that the tortoise was just about to arrive at the end of the race. No, that's not possible. I must be dreaming, he said. I will catch up with him. I still have time to win. I can run so fast. But he couldn't make it, though. It was too late. The tortoise was the winner of the race, as slow as he was. Moral of the story. Be consistent in your effort and you will be successful. The Fox and the Grapes Searching for food to satisfy his hunger, a fox suddenly saw a vine full of big grapes and ran towards it greedishly. But unfortunately, the grapes were so high that it was impossible for him to reach them. He tried again and again, but couldn't even touch them. Bitter and frustrated, he comforted himself by saying, Anyway, they don't seem ripe, so the taste must be very bad. Surely they are sour. Moral of the story you can easily despise what you can't have. The Shepherd's Boy and the Wolf There lived a shepherd boy in a small mountain village. He had great imagination, so one day, an idea occurred to him to have some fun and escape from the monotony of his life. So he went very close to the village so that people could hear him and began to yell, Wolf! Wolf! Help me! The villagers got scared and wanted to help him. So they came quickly, but instead of Wolf, they only found the shepherd boy laughing ironically. Foolish boy. They said very angry and left. The boy was really proud of himself and did his stupid joke once again another day and the villagers believed his lie again and felt sorry they fell into his trap. The third time the shepherd boy cried for help. Nobody bothered to help him anymore and this time the wolf was real. It was not a joke but the villagers didn't believe him anymore. Moral of the story, once you lose your credibility, no one will believe you anymore, even when you speak the truth. The Ant and the Dove One day, an ant went to the river to drink some water, but unfortunately he fell into the water and was just about to lose his life. That moment, a dove saw him and, eager to save his life, threw a bow on the water, so that the ant should climb on it. Soon, the ant was out of any danger. He was very grateful to the dove for saving his life, so, one day, when the dove was in danger, too, because a hunter intended to shot at her, the ant stung him in the foot. The hunter dropped his gun because of the pain, and the dove flew away in a moment. Moral of the story, one good deed is rewarded with another good deed.